this is weird starting a whole new channel okay so before we get into the whole how to start YouTube thing let me kind of explain what this channel is and who I am pretty much this is my second channel I have another channel under my name Grayson Roberts and it's just kind of vlogs BMX content just stuff like that I started this channel to kind of document my journey on owning a business owning a YouTube channel kind of giving you advice on what I think you should do with starting a brand starting YouTube camera gear just things in general to boost your career on what you want to do I'm trying to live my life own a brand be a BMX rider and have a YouTube channel that's what I'm trying to do that's what I'm trying to grow and learn how to do and document and give my advice to you and tell you what is working for me and what is not and just kind of enjoy the process that's what this boss YouTube channel is it's under my company name boss I'm in it with it's me and my buddy Hunter McConnell we have our own company we have the glasses the shirts the stickers the lanyards that's pretty much what this is anyway my name is Grayson Roberts and this video is just gonna show you how to start off with YouTube I have another YouTube channel Grayson Roberts go look that up if you enjoy just vlogs BMX just doing crazy stuff with my friends pretty much every single day so I started probably three years ago I had no money I was in I'm 16 years old right now so three years ago so I was like actually I may have been 12 I don't know I'd have to look at what my first video was I'm pretty sure I was about 13 years old when I started my first first ever dive into the YouTube into the internet community I had no money obviously I had no camera no experience nothing now I've got my nice setup I've got my big DSLR I've got comfortable on camera I'm still learning but I've definitely upgraded since my very first video so what did I start with I started with what was literally in my pocket I had my phone and a pair of Apple headphones so I think my very first content was just like me and my friend Hunter the one who I started my business with just kind of filming on our phones we would just film each other riding bikes and just talking about stuff and we would upload it and then so pretty much I would just did that for a few years and then and then I got a GoPro so I know all of you most likely have a phone a lot of you also probably have a GoPro GoPros are also great cameras to start off YouTube with so if you're wanting to do like more action videos just buy a cheap little GoPro this only cost me about $200 and I love this thing my phone was free because my parents got it for me, along with probably most of your parents got them for you. And the Apple headphones, or really any headphones with a microphone, if you're wanting to do more stuff like this, like I have a huge mic on the top of my camera. But if you don't have a huge camera and a huge mic, you can just use this. This is a little microphone. So you can just run it up through like this, put it on the inside of your shirt, and there's a little microphone if you want to just talk and have better audio. And then just have any new generation pretty much five and up they're good quality cameras so that's all you would really need after you have figured out what you want to film with you're gonna to want to know what you want to film my recommendation is make a list of like 15 10 things you're passionate about and then label the top three and then after you've got the list of 15 and you label the top three just kind of think about what you can really think of what you can really imagine yourself you know creating a channel about knowing the most about knowing how to help people how to entertain people, how to do whatever you want to do with that topic. So for me, I'm like vlogs with my friends and daily life, but most of it is BMX related. That's what I do. So you just got to figure out what you do. So you have your equipment and you have your topic. Now, all you really need to do is just start filming and editing and uploading. For an editor, I know a lot of smartphones come with free editors. And if you, hey, that's what I started with for years. I've only recently started using this setup and actually doing daily. I've been doing daily uploads for like a week with this camera. Before that, I was on, I actually had a little point and shoot camera, but I was like every third day, it was bad. So most phones, they come with an editor on them. But I just got the cheapest, most basic little YouTube editing software. It was only like $60. The one before that was $40, but I did upgrade to a $60 one. Because I'm also just starting out. I'm documenting my journey of starting YouTube. I'm only at like almost 900 subscribers. That's it. That's the only, that's all I have. I've just now figured out how to start like growing and making good content. And I want to share my advice with you. And I figure since I'm just now starting it and I'm just now figuring out all the information is fresh in my head. So it's easier to share with you. Any editor, literally anything you can put things together, just do it. And how I started is I just filmed whatever made content built up a 
little teeny tiny fan base of subscribers like I remember when I got like 50 subscribers I was so excited because I mean like that's not a lot compared to those people with tens of millions but at the same time 50 people felt the need to click that subscribe button and like that's a good feeling you know it's like you're showing up on people's YouTubes along with all those professional vloggers you're on there or professional youtubers I guess I should say it's not just vlogging um, but you're on there with all those professionals getting millions of dollars and you're still on their feet they you they, to them you're just as important as the other guys like that's a big thing even just 50 people doing that. so then it, you just kind of figure out what you do you, the first like year you're getting comfortable on camera you're figuring out your content you're learning how to edit and film and like who's in it with you your friends or yourself or just pretty much you're just figuring it out so after the first year you probably want to upgrade your camera equipment what I upgraded to was just a little point and shoot and I freaking love it lots of pros use it. lots of pros use their phones literally you just make little slight upgrades every once in a while it's not even that necessary if, it, if you're just using a little you know piece of crap equipment maybe upgrade a little bit but really you don't need that much decent video quality and decent audio people will watch you people watched me and I had like an iPhone 4 when I started well, obviously times are changing and standards are going up so therefore is there a bug on my lens whoa <sighs> so therefore I got my DSLR and my mic but lots of pros still use their phones I just like the way mine looks I like the colors I like the fish eye look I film a lot of BMX so this is kind of a must need for me and I, and I, and I like the, the audio I just like my equipment it's just what I want my videos to look like. And it just depends on what you want your videos to look like. That's all that really matters. So let's see. You've got your topic. You've got your equipment. You know what you're going to talk about. You're filming. You're editing. You've gone past your first year. Now, to really grow, this is, this is all information I've gathered from podcasts and research and listening to other YouTubers and watching what they do and really soaking up as much information as I can to apply to my personal one and to give you advice for, what I've really heard is collaborating. Collaboration is a huge deal. I have collaborated and it's definitely worked for me. With my brand, my brand definitely does collaboration. And that really boosts sales and boosts growing and everything in the whole, for everybody. It's just collaboration is wonderful. So collaboration, uploading consistently, that is so important, consistent uploads. For the past like couple months, I had a little point and shoot and I would do every other day uploads, but I would skip it. I'd be like every third day, every fourth day, once a week. But for the past like week, maybe week and a half with my new setup, and I've been doing every single day. And honestly, every single day is keeping me so much more consistent because I have a system. I have a rhythm. I'll film, do whatever I want through the day, and then just come home, plug the footage in at night, let it download on my computer, wake up early in the morning, and then just edit it. It's just such a great way to wake up. It's just editing your video or a great way to go to bed. Like last night, I edited yesterday's video right before I went to bed. And I'm going to edit this video. It's, it's like 9 in the morning right now. I'm going to edit this video before I go and start filming for my other YouTube channel. That's pretty much my system. You just got to figure out your system. So then from there, it's all up to you. It just takes dedication, consistency. That's all it really is. Subscribe to this channel so you can see what I'm doing, see what's working for me so I can tell you how to start your channel and how to grow your business and do what you want to do, do what you love for the rest of your life instead of having to work a basic nine to five. So subscribe so you can learn how to do that through me, through my learning and my failures so we can all just kind of work together and grow successful. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my other YouTube channel, Grayson Roberts, for vlogs, crazy stuff with my friends, BMX. Spread the word. Peace.